Hello and welcome to the Daily Meal for Saturday the 10th of September 2022. In today's Mill News, Mill uh, Football Club have issued a statement. Mill will issue a statement on upcoming again fixtures. This is from millfc.co.uk. Mill Football Club wishes to provide supporters with an update regarding its two home matches against QPR and Blackpool next week. Following the tragic and devastating passing of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, fixture away to Sunderland was postponed part of a wider cancellation of matches over this weekend in a display of respect from the national sport. As it stands, there is currently no obligation for a similar postponement of fixtures next week, during which Mill was set to play at the Den on Wednesday the 14th and Saturday the 17th. The club has every intention and desire to fulfil these fixtures as scheduled and believes that its supporters would like the opportunity to pay an emotional and memorable tribute to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. There are, however, considerable demands on police resources at this unprecedented time, particularly in London, and such pressures are extending into the stewarding industry. The club is conscious of the impact of these factors, but is working tirelessly to overcome such hurdles in order to meet the necessary safety regulations required to host the two matches as planned. This is a very unique and challenging time for the country and for so many different industries. And as such, situations are dynamic and ever-changing. The club will keep its supporters updated as best as possible during the days ahead. And uh, you can read a statement by John Barrelson by clicking here. So, reading between the lines there, what does this statement mean? Well, it's good that we've got a statement. I think Mill were one of the only clubs that did this. Um, it suggests that... Mill will want the game to go ahead, but there are factors going on behind the scenes, even from the steward, the company that provides the stewards. They probably see an opportunity to make a lot of money, and they think, well, uh, this is a once in a lifetime deal, so we'll get the taxpayer to pay for that, and uh, why would we want to send our stewards to Millwall? It could be the police. Um, but we'll get into that later, but um, we shall see. So, here are the games. Wednesday the 14th against QPR at the Den. Saturday the 17th against Blackpool at the Den. And Saturday the 17th there was due to be a rail strike, but they have uh, graciously decided to cancel that. So there is now no rail strike on that day. So, what is happening this week? Well, we got news today that the, the funeral is set to be on Monday the 19th, and it will be a bank holiday. Um, so, tomorrow, as in Sunday the 11th, the Queen's coffin will be taken by road to Edinburgh and Lyon State there, or all day on Monday. On Tuesday... Tuesday, the coffin will be flown to London where it will be uh, at rest at Buckingham Palace. And um, there will be a lying in state on Wednesday, the day of our game, Wednesday, in Westminster Hall. After a procession from Buckingham Palace to Westminster and a service by the Archbishop of Canterbury, uh, the public will pay their respects for four days. So Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday in Westminster. You've, I don't know if you've seen the pictures. There's a lot of people um, gathering outside of Buckingham Palace. The gates there, the lane flowers and all of that. Um, a lot of people going there now. Um, they may have shot, shot the load a bit early because uh, it seems the time to go will be these four days. Wednesday the 14th, Thursday the 15th, Friday the 16th, and Saturday the 17th. They will be um, the days when you should line up like these people here in the background on the left. I think is this Duke of Edinburgh's funeral where you'll get to go in and shuffle past uh, with everyone else. Um, so on Thursday, I said it's, it's still going to be in Westminster Hall. On Friday, 
people start to arrive for the funeral and this is where the police situation gets involved um these people need um high security detailing they need to be i don't know where they're all going to stay maybe in their own embassies i don't know whether they all stay i don't know in uh, maybe all in one hotel in mayfair somewhere like that. the one that big one on hyde park don't know but um so again there's a reception for heads of state and visiting officials on friday night then on monday televised state funeral um at westminster Abbey, which of course is a bank holiday um so there you have it so in terms of the Millwall game going ahead on wednesday well, this is from, I don't know what this is from, it's something that's popped up on my uh, MSN feed, I don't know where it's actually, actually what story it's actually from. Uh, so, with the news that uh, Queen Elizabeth II's funeral will take place on Monday, September 19th, there is hope the Premier League action will return next weekend, all 10 fixtures were postponed this weekend following the Queen's sad passing on Thursday. However, there is still some doubt whether all fixtures will be played next weekend and plans are being made to avoid further fixture disruption in what is already a congested football calendar. Games that are scheduled to be played in London are, are in doubt due to safety concerns and a lack of policing, with many officers likely to be involved in the planning and management of the funeral at Westminster Abbey. According to The Athletic, a potential solution being discussed is that all London clubs play their games away from home next weekend? Um, I don't know. It's now they're talking about the Premier League. I don't know if that's possible for us. Uh, could our game against Blackpool be played in Blackpool? I don't know. It's uh, an incredibly short notice. Uh, it's probably not fair on the fans. It's it's, it's got the same outcome in terms of affecting the fans is if you cancelled it or if you switched it in terms of fans have already bought travel so Blackpool fans have bought travel Millwall fans who don't live in London have probably bought travel um, maybe those who come by car they're, they're sorted um, because they just rock up and go um but uh yeah it's it's probably not ideal either way uh however if an agreement could be reached a fixture would be reversed with chelsea instead traveling to anfield now I, I can't see that happening um sky won't be involved um in that uh tottenham are due to play at home next saturday so saturday is 17th against Leicester city that's why i thought it kick off i believe while arsenal are set to face brentford at the community stadium uh, in regards to next weekend's fixtures, the Met Police told Football Dot London, "Whether matches go ahead is a matter for the football authorities. If fixtures do take place, the Met will work with relevant partners and ensure that appropriate policing plans are in place." What does that mean? Now there was some. Um, I think they're bringing in, they're drafting in um, police from outside uh, the Met Police area to come into London. Could we see the Blackpool Police coming down with the team and helping out with like a senior, with the normal guy who usually runs it, or the Met Police, but the people down below, all the constables, constables are um, from the Lancashire Police, I don't know, but... Uh, would be very weird um so let's just have a look and see what's happening so this is wednesday the 14th of the day of our game chelsea against uh fc red bull um i doubt that's going to be moved that's going to go ahead even though chelsea fulham road very close to westminster um westminster that's the day when the um the first day of the lying in state in Westminster Hall. So 
if that Chelsea game gets um, the tin tack, gets postponed, then we should start worrying about our game as well. They might do it at the same time, they might not. As you can see, that's Chelsea game is the only uh, Champions League game in London that, that day. And then we have, of course, our game, Millwall versus QPR, uh, south of the river, well out of the way of Westminster. Nothing wrong with that. It should let us play that. I can't see why not. Not only that, it's helping getting people away from the West London area. The QPR fans will be travelling south. So, just let that one carry on. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, as we go to Saturday's game, here we go. So, we've already had the... This this is hilarious. Brighton and Hove Albion and Crystal Palace. Match postponed. Why was it postponed? Because of the rail strike. The rail strike that's now been postponed itself. So are they are they going to put this game back on or are they going to keep it postponed? Absolute dickheads these people are. It should be back on because the train strike was off. So what are you waiting for? Um, but what can you do? And here's the Tottenham game. That's in London. 5.30 kickoff, and then we have to travel all the way down past all these Scottish Cup fixtures. You got the Millwall versus Blackpool game on the Saturday. Again, Blackpool don't really normally bring that many fans. They're not really are they are they ag that aggravating? Now you could think, well, if they if they do something annoying like win the game, then there might be a problem. Um. And it depends how they take that win. Uh, if they just uh, keep their mouth shut, walk back up the walkway to South Bermsey and then mind their own business, yeah, it's not really a problem. If they decide to gloat, then uh, that might be uh, something that needs to be corrected. We have the QPR game, home game. Again, they're in West London. So we've got the QPR game and the Chelsea game on the same day, no, no, that was a different game. So QPR, West London, Hammersmith, Fulham, that way. Will that get postponed? Will that get switched to Stoke? Maybe, maybe not. Um, in terms of other other games, lower down uh, in London on that day, none in League One, I believe, and then just the Leighton Orient game and Sutton United game in League Two. Nothing crazy going on, so I don't see why um, they've only got three games in London. Really, well, I can't see why they would be postponed unless they are really utterly stretched. You got the Tottenham game, you got the Mill game, you got the QPR game. If anything, scrap the QPR game because that's out west. And I imagine this, those officers that police that game probably involved in the um, Westminster policing as well. Like Mill, South of the River, why should they get postponed? I, I really can't see it being postponed um, in terms of um, safety, but we shall see. So hopefully, even though this statement from Mill today is a bit... It's a bit, um, it looks like they're trying to send a message to the Mill fans saying, we want the games to go ahead, but there's things going on behind the scenes. Hopefully those things behind the scenes get uh, swatted away and we can carry on on um, Wednesday and Saturday. And someone made a pretty good suggestion, I don't know what you think, um, that when the teams come out and uh, in the game against QPR, or, or maybe the Blackpool game, I don't know which one. Instead of playing Let Them Come, they play uh, God Save the Queen. What do you think about that? I don't know. Um, would be pretty good. I don't know. And on that note, thank you for watching, and 